Hi, everybody. I uh, hope you're doing well out there or as well as can be expected. It's obviously a scary time, an uncertain time for, for many Americans, many people all over the world, frankly. Uh, and, and my situation is not that unique, uh, as, as many of us are sort of wondering what's going to happen with our careers and our companies and, and just hoping and praying we get through this together. Uh, but one thing I'll say, as, as uncertain as this time is, uh, it has also given us, I think, a chance to uh, take a step back and, and, and pause and, and remember what's most important in life, which is family. And it sounds cliche, but, you know, I think we'll look back at this one day and tell our grandkids or great grandkids about uh, this whole self-quarantine, uh, uh, social distancing thing. And, and I think that'll be the silver lining is that we were able to just take a breath and, and hang out with family and, and have some, some fun, as best as, as much fun as you can have given the situation and, and, and have, have some family bonding time and, and do activities together, things that you put off for years because you were just too busy to do them and that email just couldn't wait and that, you know, the, the gymnastics lessons you just had to get you know, your daughter to right on time and your son can't skip a piano lesson. By the way, these are all true things for me, I mean, uh, Kids have, you know, my, I have a son who's in baseball five nights a week, it seems like these days, with another son that plays piano, my daughter does gymnastics and, and dance, and uh, it's crazy. And as much fun as that is, it also is, it just adds to the insanity of it all. And so I'll be honest, it's been kind of nice to not have to feel like you always have somewhere to be or something to do. And it's given us the time to just relax, uh, hang out, and do some things that uh, we haven't been able to do for quite some time. And so that's what the point of this video is. Uh, it's a Disney, uh, Disney, Disney Instagram account, of course, so the activity I'm talking about is Disney related. So, I, and I'll be doing more of these. So I'm gonna hit pause, turn the camera around, show you what we've been up to these last couple days, and uh, probably be able to make some more of these over the next couple weeks. Uh, hang in there, stay safe, and um, uh, let me know what you guys are up to. Uh, feel free to respond. Let me know uh, if you, if uh, what I'm about to show you, you've maybe done something similar or have the same thing. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe. We will be okay, and uh, we'll get through this together. All right, take care, guys. All right. So, like I said, you know, uh, there's lots of things that that people don't uh, necessarily uh, focus on when they're. Uh, getting caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life. And so this Steamboat Willie uh, Lego set, uh, I was probably one of the first people to buy it. I think I probably even got it on pre-order on the Lego website and had it delivered uh, the day it came out, which was over a year ago at this point, I have to think, if not nine months or so, uh, maybe even longer. Uh, who knows? That's the point. We're, we're so caught up in the hectic pace of life that uh, this could be two years old at this point. Uh, it did come out for the 90th uh, birthday of Mickey, which was uh, 2018, and it's already 2020, so could very well be, uh, have been sitting in a box for the last two years. Anyway, all that aside, uh, it is in the box no longer, because we uh, uh, completed the Steamboat Willie set uh, last night. I was, th the, the, the details on this thing is actually uh, pretty amazing. Um, including, you know, the spinny uh, sort of wheel here. There's one on the other side. These things go up and down. And and this uh, little crane here that I was uh, threading this through at uh, 2 in the morning last night. I was determined to just finish this thing by last night, which, uh, which I did after the kids were asleep. But they helped give me a good head start, of course. Uh, this is kind of cool. But, yes, this was sort of tedious, threading all of the string around this and then uh, feeding it through here and then tying the knot, um, here we go, tying the knot around uh, the, the hook there. And uh, yeah, it's actually functional. You know, most people uh, do actually build Legos to play with them. I don't, I build them to uh, admire the finished product, but it's kind of cool when you sit there and, and realize the actual functionality that goes with it. And so you can lower and raise the crane, I guess drop it into the water. This one here is, uh, not fell. Uh, <laughs> this is why I don't play with them because this is what happens when you do. Um, this one here was a potato, uh, potato bin, it says. So uh, it's cool. Um, some other details here. Uh, Mickey can kind of go anywhere he want him to go, but I of course have to have him in the uh, captain's chair with the wheel, the iconic uh, whistling Mickey, uh, which is now um, the intro to every Disney 
animation movie um, that's made these days. It starts off with the classic, uh, you know that one, of course. Um, so Mickey is behind the wheel, um, steering the ship. You have Minnie here. Again, she can kind of be placed anywhere you want her to be, but I have her out front playing the guitar. Of course, she's got her nice uh, flower hat on. And then we have the bird. <laughs> Uh, this is another guy that was kind of an interesting that he, he was he was uh, the instructions had me put him on fairly early but every time I moved the thing around he would fall off like that I mean so uh, I recommend if you do this sort of thing leave some of the small details for the very end uh, because even though they recommended putting him on uh, about midway through the the uh, assembly is when they instructed me to, to put him together but he kept getting knocked over over uh, probably 20 times poor bird um but it's really cool um and again it's it's fun to uh, to admire and, and step back and look at the the finished product and compare it to how it looks on the box but it's uh, it's also cool to see the functionality and, and the moving pieces and the fact that these um the the intricacy of the details that go into this and like i said those things go up and down uh, those things you can tell them a real technical uh, nautical guy here those things is what i refer to them as but a uh, really cool set again something that we've been uh neglecting to do for years now but we have the time to do it and it's been a lot of fun and there's going to be some more stuff like this along the way so i'll continue to post videos and i hope you guys are doing well and i hope you're staying safe and we will get through this together all right take care guys and we'll talk soon